Hi everyone, my name is Tanya Dale. I am making one of the other recipes today for day one breakfast. I'm just going to show you what I do with my beans. You can do this the night before. You can blanch the beans the night before to have them ready for the morning meal. You can actually have this meal for lunch or dinner as well. So I've just put a little bit of salt in some water. I'm going to put them in there. I'm going to time it for around about two minutes. And then while that's getting timed, I will do the rest of the stuff. Okay, so I'm just going to show you what to do. So what I've got is just some greens. You can have any greens. I like green leafy uh, vegetables in the form of your spinach and your, or your baby spinach and rocket. You can choose what you like. But what I do from there is I'll grab the beans a little bit later on, but I'm going to put some sunflower kernels around about a tablespoon of uh, your seeds are uh, equivalent to one fat portion. So if you're following the plan, what I've done is I've given you a swapping list. And that swapping list will tell you the different types of fats, non-starchy vegetables, carb, carbohydrates, as well as proteins. So what you do is you get a tablespoon of this, you, um, you put it on your salad, and that's counted as one fat portion. I've also done a video for you today, but um, or during, you know, you'll find it on YouTube or on my website page. But this video, what it does is I've done an onion and basil dressing, and I call this a flavor bomb because these are the things that create loads of flavor, flavors in your dishes, and I really think people should be adding them in. It's also great prebiotic, so I really want to start to invest, uh, invest in your uh, microbes in the gastrointestinal tract. So we're going to be using this. If you don't have this, you can use pestos, but I'm trying to keep it more dairy-free, and a lot of the pestos have dairy in it, but some of the pestos you'll find on the market will be dairy-free, gluten-free, um, but if you not, haven't got a dairy sensitivity, then include it, but just look at the fat portion as well when you're doing that. So I'm going to strain it, it's, a, it's nearly two minutes, I like mine al dente, so I'm going to just take it out. Now, you can, if you like it a little bit softer, you can take it out a little bit earlier. Um, what a lot of people do when they blanch beans, they put it in ice cold water and then they use it because it they, they tends to retain the color and also the crispness. What I find is, I just want to eat it now, I don't have time for that. So, um, I don't know about some of you, but you must probably be the same. So, let's, I'm going to strain it. I like it also quite hot or warm, should I say, the salad. You can, as I said, have the salad nice and cold. Um, so what's going to happen, I'm just going to have to get a thing to put it on so it doesn't burn the surface. <laughs> but trickier than I thought. So let me, let me bring it over here so it doesn't burn. Okay, so what I'm going to do is... Yeah, if you're going to add hot stuff to it, you're going to wilt the spinach, but that's absolutely fine. Um, as I said, I want it nice and warm. I've boiled my eggs for around about, um, if you want it softer than this, you boil your water up, you put your eggs in for four and a half minutes, you'll get a soft egg, obviously depending on the size of the egg. Um, I usually do mine for, um, this is done for about nine minutes, um, sometimes six minutes is quite nice if you want the yolk area to be running, and just mix it now and again, or stir it now and again. So what I've done is I'm just going to put the beans, around about a cup of beans, a cup of greens. Remember, I've got to try and get the fiber in. The fiber is so important for you. So um, I'm trying to get a, a lot going on in there. I'm going to be adding in my eggs. I mean, you can just put them in, uh, in half. I've done two eggs. Remember, two eggs is equivalent to two protein portion. There's around about six to seven grams of protein in an egg which is a nice amount. Uh, eggs are very biologically active and they're fantastic for choline. Your brain needs choline and I find that a lot of people lack choline intake um, because the diet, the high carbohydrate eating plan with poor uh, um, protein sources tends to create a deficiency. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm creating around about three and the other cup is coming from your green beans. So this is how day one of the woman's cycle menu plan to kickstart your health as well as your weight loss is actually a, a factor on. Now, when I do the plan, so as I said, I'm going to just do a tablespoon. I'm just going to pour a tablespoon over there. You'll see on the plan for day one breakfast, I don't have, I didn't put the coriander, the basil in, fresh basil in, because it's actually in the dressing. I haven't put, uh, I've also mentioned two teaspoons of olive oil, but the olive oil and uh, the olive oil is actually in the dressing. So how I work it is I work on around about 10 grams um, of fat in the dressing. 
So what I'm going to do, this is around about 7 grams of, of fat per tablespoon. Remember, it's got a lot of your herbs in it. So it's got, a, it's got your herbs in it in the form of basil, which is, is exactly what I want. So I'm going to use about a tablespoon and a half coming in. So let's use a tablespoon and a half. And then I'm going to just put a touch of salt in there. You don't have to. Remember, my dressing has, is a little bit acidic. So when I mix it up, the flavors will come through. I have put in a bit of lemon if you want to add extra lemon into it. If you like it more tart, um, you can put a little bit of, of chili. You can put some extra garlic in. A touch of ginger would be fantastic. So you can create a lot of variations in this dish. But just know that I'm sticking to a certain plan. And if you want to follow that plan, you can go on to www.brightlifeproject.net. And if you go to the home page, remember, go to the home page, click on the home page. It's the second one down saying three day women's kickstart cycle menu plan. Okay, I've given you an explanation about how to use it and you can use it at home. And this is just, you can even, um, anyone can use this kind of plan to increase their health and wellness. All right, thanks so much. Have a good day. Cheers.